Hey YouTube, you've got it right. It is the Swollen Old Man coming with you with another edition of Road Rage. And uh, not too much to really be raging about these days because it seems like everything's dead on uh, YouTube. But I do have a couple of bones to pick. Gonna pick them dry. And sorry about the sun. It's really uh, bright here in Georgia today. Atlanta, Georgia. If you ever down this way, hit me up. We'll get a workout in. Anybody but you, Vince Goodman, you fat fucker. Anyway, let's get to uh, let's get to the order of uh, of events here. I got a problem uh, with this Robzilla or Bobzilla, whatever the hell his name is. I've heard him referred to both different ways, and um, you know I'm just gonna make something clear. Uh, Robzilla, Bobzilla, you're a punk ass bitch because the swollen old man said so. And I want to add you to my Ruby challenge. So why don't you shut your mouth, stop talking shit about everybody, PJ Braun and everybody else. Put your fucking money where your mouth is, you welfare fucking little bitch. And meet me at the Ruby on the stage in a heavyweight open. Now I know your fat ass is around 220 pounds. So that puts you right up there in the Ruby in heavyweight class. Step up there, face me. If you beat me in placement or in scorecard, I'll hand you, you're not worthy of a thousand dollars because you are a punk ass bitch. I'll give you a hundred bucks and reimburse you the fees you had to pay to enter the Ruby. With that said, yeah, I'm challenging every goddamn buddy. Run your mouth and of course a swollen old man is gonna make you put your money where your mouth is. Stand up, back up what you say. That's what it's all about. All you fucking keyboard bitches out there, Rob Zilla, Jason Genova, fucking Vince Goodwin, which brings me to Vince Goodwin. I've been listening to this guy. Sometimes he's got some good shit to say. But I gotta tell you, I can't look at the man when he's talking. I got to like, you know, darken the screen, scroll up or something, because the man looks like a big black cock with a gap, you know, that gap in his teeth is this fucking piss hole. And I just can't handle looking at this guy. He talks a lot of shit about everybody, like he knows everything. But all I see is a bunch of fat hanging off his body. Have you ever stepped on the stage, good one? You say you have. I don't see no proof of it. Don't see your name nowhere. So why don't you jump in here and uh, down to Delray Beach and step on the stage in a ruby. And I'll throw your fat ass $500 if you outscore me on the stage or you beat me. So let's just put it that way. Well, outscore me would be beat me, wouldn't it? But anyway, I want to throw you in there. You were talking some shit today. At least I saw the video today about uh, Jay Masters. And it's GoFundMe, you know, and you know, you're really derogatory, like he doesn't really have a job, he sits at home, he's fat, he's lazy. Let me tell you something about this guy. I had some beefs when I first met, met him online, and I got to know him a little bit. It's, he's a good man. He's, you know, he's got his own kind of sense of humor, but if the guy wants to put a GoFundMe up to help fund himself while he recovers, and then beat your ass for talking shit, it's not your place to give him any type of shit for that. There's people on there asking for boob jobs, fucking pay tickets, and stupid shit like that. This man had a legitimate injury that could have ended his powerlifting career, may have, and possibly crippled him where he couldn't walk. And you got the audacity to sit there and talk shit about this man that is 50 years old and squatting over 600 fucking pounds. I don't know many people in their 20s or 30s that can do that. So until you can outdo somebody, or you're better than somebody in anything, then you can talk shit. That's why I can talk shit. Everything I say, I can back up. If I say I'm gonna beat you on the stage, I'm gonna beat you on the stage. If I say I'm gonna meet you in an MMA ring and kick your fucking ass, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. If I say I'm gonna drive down to Delray Beach and go to your gym and seek you out because you won't return any of my messages, I'm gonna do that. I have the video to prove I was there. Big Rob, same thing with you. Meet me at the Ruby, put your money where your mouth is. You talk a lot of shit, you cost people their jobs, you're calling their, their fucking neighbors, their jobs, the police departments. Be a man, step up and look someone in the eye and talk shit you won't do it because you can't back up what you say so i said to you too vince Gooden, step on the stage in the ruby 
and let's see how much of a man you are. I understand you're gay. That's your business. I don't fucking care about that. But step on the stage. The swollen old man. I'm 53 years old. Let's see if that big swollen ass fucking head of yours can back up what you're saying. Genova, I haven't forgot about you. Every time I try to chase you down, you run. I get on your live feeds. You shut it down as soon as I say something. I send you a text message. You change your fucking number. Genova, I'm not backing down from this challenge. Answer the challenge. Step on the stage. Put up whatever amount of money you can and face the big swollen old man on the stage. No, I'm not challenging because I don't have respect for you, Genova. I'm challenging you to push you to do what you say you're going to do. I'm challenging you because I have the I have respect for you because day after day you're in the gym working. Day after day you're hustling. I respect that in a man. I respect you, Genova. So step on the stage. Let's have some fun and see who can outflex who at the Ruby. Well, that's all I got to say today. And stay swollen, have fun, and don't fight. Ah, yeah, I stole that line. <laughs> Just have to stay swollen. Why? Because swollen old man said so.